alert. Cooking fires are the leading cause of home fires and home fire injuries. ABC's Whit Johnson gives us a first-hand look at how some can be prevented with the right fire safety knowledge. These women are battling a kitchen fire. <laughs> Fortunately, it's a controlled test created just for them. Oh, my gosh. Set up a fire safety challenge under the careful control of firefighters at the Bergen County Fire Academy. First into the fire, Susie Fine. We're going to put you to the test. Put out that fire. At first, she struggles to pull the pin, but once she gets it free, she's able to move in and quickly extinguish the fire. Up next, mom of two, Jen Altman. Put out that fire. Okay, here we go. Shoot. Oh my she God. also struggles uh... with the pin and nozzle. has to step in close as she aims at the top of the flames first, but then corrects herself and is able to sweep the base of the fire, putting it out after 33 seconds. I learned that I need to be more prepared. Up next, Judy Sika. Says they have extinguishers, but admits she's not sure how to actually use one. Oh, God. I mean, there's a lock on it. She forgets to pull the pin. I don't know how to do it. But with a bit of help, is finally able to douse the flames after a nail-biting 44 seconds. Though experts caution that if you can't put out a fire in 30 seconds, you should get out. It's so important to act as quickly as you can. Dial 911, get the fire extinguisher, aim at the fire, try to put the fire out, and then leave. Up last, Mama 4, Lisa Auntie, has three fire extinguishers at home. Put out that fire right over there. But once she gets the extinguisher, oh, she struggles for almost 20 seconds. I can't get it. Before she is able to tug it free and put out the blaze. Yes. Remember the word pass. First, pull the pin. Then, aim at the base of the fire. But before you even reach for that extinguisher, firefighters say the first thing you need to do is call 911. All right, pass. Some good advice there. That was Whit Johnson reporting.